This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Hi, welcome to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. Every now and then I ask a guest to come back and talk about what they're doing and what's going on. And our today's guests are very, very special to me. We have Taz Vegas and Bobby Pelegi. You've probably seen them here before, but why they are here today is really something for all of us to contemplate and to understand how important the work of what Taz Vegas is doing in today's world. We're going to talk about his new song, and his new song is called No More Walls. And I know I've tried to stay away from politics. I've tried to stay out of the commentary of what's going on in both the Hawaii politics area as well as the national politics, but I can't help myself because what Taz has in this song is exactly what all of us need to understand is important in our national po political arena. So without further ado, may I introduce Taz and Bobby. Uh, both of you have been with our Make Him Smile program for the last year and a half, two years. Taz, you're always playing at the hospitals. And if there's a musician that's being asked for at Shriners Hospital or Kapiolani Hospital or Kaiser Hospital, can we get Taz Vegas oh again? My. Can he come back? <laughs> you are so fabulous with the kids. It's absolutely amazing what you're doing. So thank you for coming today. And thank you for giving your heart and your soul and your talent to help the Make Him Smile program. Thank you. Thank you, Seymour. You're welcome. Bobby, what can I say? You are the master of all the musicians that I know here in Hawaii. You have provided Make Him Smile with so many musicians over the time. We have a young musician, Malia. Yes. who is uh, working with us, yes, and she is blossoming. This is a young 18-year-old girl in college here at UH. First time she came on our show, she was shy and very hesitant timid, about playing. Very timid, yeah. And now you've got to see her uh, when she goes to the hospitals. Wow. She, uh, she's just wonderful with the kids and doing such a great job. So both of you are close to my heart, and I feel like you're brothers. Thank you so me. much, Seymour. It's an honor and uh, indeed a pleasure to be here with you. So, I, I look upon you as family. Thank you. And uh, it's always, always a pleasure. So tell me a little bit about why we're here. We hear about music, basically. Music versus humanity. As you know, um, music is a tool, I believe, that's more than just a door to success and, and um, uh, money. It's more of a, a tool to heal to inspire, to unite, to bring people together. And what we're trying to do now in our publishing company is try to create a wave of influence from the Aloha State in the form of music and lyric that can create lasting impression amongst hearts and souls and give certain direction and understanding. And Growing up in the 60s, being exposed to artists like Bob Dylan, Marvin Gaye, John Lennon, these, these crafters of music would write songs that would last generations. And when you think about it, the music of today that's out there, not that I'm comparing, is how many songs can you say that you hear on the radio that are going to be lasting 30, 40, 50 years? So what other better way than coming from New York living on the island of Molokai, and using my experience to influence artists and songwriters to write songs, to craft music that will create a message, and one that will resonate in our hearts and give us an understanding of what we're really about. We all want answers, and that's where we came up with the title, No More Walls. So, Taz, tell me a little bit about it. I mean, you have written some Hoku award-winning songs. You're, you're very famous, not just in Hawaii. You work with Hawaiian Airlines around the world. You really wanted to do this. This was one of the, uh, the, the, the big deals for you was to make this song. Tell us about it. Well, yes, um, you know, this song, when this song title came to us, it was, and we're not gonna lie, it was when um, we seen a little bit of politics going on social media about building walls. And Bobby and I said, well, why don't we write a song about walls? 
I said, what do you want to call it? He said, no more walls. I said, wow. I said, if we're going to write this, I'm going to relate to it the way it's going to hit me. And the way it relates to me is um, when I hear the title, No More Walls, I feel like um, it speaks to me about breaking your walls from fear, uh, breaking, your, breaking the walls that stop you from going to the next level, whatever it, it is, you know. But for me, that's how I relate to it. And, um, you know, it just, it just transcended into something that the pen to paper, it, the words came. It, you know, some songs, it take a year. Some yes. songs, it'll take five minutes, literally. And these are one of the songs that took us no more than a day to write and a, and a day to tweak. And, you know. I think the interesting part for me <laughs> is that in today's political climate, we hear no more walls and all we think about is the immigration wall. Yes. Right. What you're talking about is personal walls. Absolutely. Everything that we as individuals have to face every single Spiritual day walls. in our lives. Physical right. walls. Vices people right. have in their lives. Right, right, right. And that prevent them from doing what they really should be doing or what they were, rather than should be doing, what they were born to do. Their dharma so to speak. I like and, that word. Yeah. I think for, uh, for all of us here, and I'm talking about our audience as well, we all have to understand that we make our own walls around us. Yes. Whether they're physical walls, mental walls, emotional walls, yes. all of these things are uh, items that we have to encounter. We have to climb those walls. Absolutely. Get on the other side. Sometimes break those walls down. Absolutely. You know, we're all not perfect. I have walls right now that I put up. I'm sure you do. I'm sure we, you do. We all do. I mean, if you look at the opioid epidemic, that's a huge wall. That's a wall. If you look at the homeless situation, that's a huge that's a wall. Huge. So when you came to me with this show, Bobby, and you wow. said, can we come on with no more walls? I said, I'm going to introduce the show as no more walls. Wow. But I want you guys to talk about everything that it means to you, not just... Mr. President's uh, wall that he Absolutely. wants to build. It's not it's about It's all him. about the personal walls. And I think yes. the song is going to resonate with our audience when they understand it's not about an immigration no. wall. It's about every single one of us. It's not about presidential po politics. The song is more than that. Correct. You know, it's deeper than that. It's about life. It's about racism. You know, that's that's huge. What's going on now? I you know? have to say, Taz, I'm only smiling because my earpiece <laughs> is saying, "When is he going to play the song?" <laughs> you know, people want to hear the song. Oh, oh my can gosh. you get Put ready to play the song? We can. can we do can it. Ready. Absolutely. We would love to do it. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, 
message <laughs> I have to say Taz that is such a great message breaking boundaries the separation that you have between people's love for each other you know and uh, I couldn't have written it without Bobby Bobby has a very <laughs> a way of working uh, lyrics and words I have a way of working the melody he brings life into together the, into the well poetry. I think I think one of the things that really gets me is the respect that you have for each other and you take that respect and you turn it into music so people when they hear that song they can learn from that song they can oh, yeah. take something from that song that maybe will inspire them to either maybe. do something for themselves maybe change what some of the bad habits they have and more important is do what you guys do so much which is to help others now you know music is, is the most universal language I, I believe we believe in that music has a way to heal and I believe no matter you're singing opera a different language it's all about the tone it's all about the message and um, I just want people to know that this song is not about me it's not about um, nothing to do with me it's just about now is the time to write songs that's gonna last anthems and this is what I've been um, working out with my partner Bobby and he's, he's what enlightens me to today is what well, changed the, my style of music. It's also an empowerment. You're empowering yourself to create music that's going to help the world and that is so important. That's what it's all about. That you know growing up music got me through and our world <clears throat> through some difficult times you know growing up in the 60s with the Cuban Missile Crisis, the Vietnam War, presidents getting assassinated, Martin Luther King getting assassinated what kept us together? Music. And we're not finding that that much these days. Where, And if it is, it's not as abundant. And we just want, from the Aloha straight State, voice our mana'o, create a little influence that could affect the affluence. <laughs> It's, it's a beautiful message, guys. Unfortunately, we have to take a little break. Sure, no problem. But after the break, I'd like you to talk about some of your career, Taz, what you've done and where you're going. And you have another song that's one of my favorite, which is the children's song. Yes. So I, can you play that after the break as well? Anything, perhaps? anything for you, absolutely. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you for having me. It's, it's, uh, it's just one of those things where uh, you have such a great talent and you're just starting to get exposed to the world. And I want to see you up there with with uh, the music that you're doing today as part of the best that Hawaii has to offer. Thank you, Seymour. Thank you. Uh, I'm Seymour Kazimersky on Seymour's World on ThinkTech Hawaii. We will be back in a minute with my guests Taz Vegas and Bobby Pelagi and the excellent, excellent, excellent singing of a master. Thank you. Wow. Ted Rawson here, folks, your host on Where the Drone Leads, our weekly show at noon on Thursdays here on Think Tech, where we talk about drones, anything you to do about drones, drones, remotely piloted aircraft, unmanned air crystals, whatever you want to call them, emerging into Hawaii's economy, educational framework, and our public life. We talk about things associated with the use, the misuse, uh, technology, engineering, legislation, with the local experts as well as people from across the country. Please join us noon on Thursdays and catch the latest on what's taking place in the world of drones that might affect you. Guys, don't forget to check me out right here at the Prince of Investing. I'm your host, Prince Dykes. Each and every Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Hawaii time, I'm going to be right here. Stop by here from some of the best investment minds across the globe in real estate, finances, stocks, hedge funds managers, all that great stuff. Thank you.
Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on ThinkTech Hawaii. Our guests today are Bobby Pelagi and Taz Vegas, two of our wonderful sponsors for our Make Him Smile program. Taz has been playing for us for a long time, and it's just a, a pleasure to see the growth that you have had in your career, Taz. Tell us how it all started and how you got to where you are today. Um, you know, I started at a very young age. Um, I had a great support team in my mom. And when I say team, I mean mom was, she's the backbone to why I play music. She supported me at a very young age. And uh, um, so I give, I give everything to my mom. And thank you to our Heavenly Father for allowing me to have these talents to do what I do. Um, you know, music has been a blessing for me. At a young age, I traveled with Hawaii's Visitors Bureau, um, Hawaii Tourism Association. And they took me around the world, a lot of to Asia, but it already brought in my my eyes, you know, um, onto what what's around this world, you know, what's outside of this rock this we live in, this beautiful place, paradise. And I was able to witness that there's aloha all around the world. We just gotta go and find it, find it, and put out that positive energy. Yeah, you know, um, and I believe music has that that touch of positive energy. Finding people like Bobby, finding people like you, Seymour, thank you so much for allowing musicians to have a platform to go into these hospitals and do what I believe what we're meant to do was to heal. Music is healing. Um, Giving plain and simple. Tone is healing. My favorite artist is Brother Israel Kamaka Viva Ole. The reason why is because of his tone. And you can just close your eyes and listen to him and you feel a certain type of healing. And I believe that tone, I try to carry that into my music as much as I can. And again, you know, I'm just very blessed and ble blessed to have friends like both of you in my life. So thank you very much. Well, Taz, I'll tell you, Thanks, it's, uh, you think it's, you have a blessing. I'm the one that has the blessing Absolutely. because it's, uh, it has helped me through all of my issues. You know, I have cancer and I'm living with it. And I, uh, every day I go to the hospital to play with the kids and with you guys. And that keeps me going. You know, it's a, there's a, there's a quid pro quo for everything. We seem to be able to find the balance when something happens happens and you need to have a little bit of a, a, a chance to feel feel better about yourself and what's going on, you find a place. For me, it's going to the hospitals and playing with the kids. And you guys, you especially, are one of those that has such a unique talent. And I'm just going to give you guys a, a, a great story about this young man. The first time we went to play, it was at Shriners Hospital. And uh, we, we have been playing for about a year, and Taz came with Bobby, and he did something that no other musician had ever done before. He went down on his knee to be at the kid's level. So he wanted to be face-to-face uh, -face with the kids. Instead of standing up and playing down to the kids, this guy went down on his knee and played his guitar to play with the kids. Taz, I'll never forget that. Wow. Well, I, you know, I learned that from Kaepernick. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, he took a knee for the kids. <laughs> it was, it but I have children of my own, so... Um, it became natural. It, it's just natural. You it's know. just beautiful. It's just natural. It's just about meeting them one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And Bobby, for you, uh, you've got a lot of musicians in your, in, in your publishing company, I, I know. But this guy seems to be the number one for you. He seems to be you know, there all the time. The number, one, the number one pain. I don't know. Maybe the, I don't know what it is. We, <laughs> we have developed a camaraderie that is just precious and priceless. And it's all about learning from each other. He teaches me a lot, you know. You know, there's an Start old saying <laughs> that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, you know, Taz has shed a lot of light on my perception of things, and uh, you know, it's how can I thank him? Do everything I can to help his career. Yeah. My goal is to create through the world of publishing, through songwriting and, and musical creation, a Grammy Award-winning artist that will one day accept that award and hold it up and say, this is for Hawaii Ne. Not for me, 
for the state that made me who I am. Before we get to playing, because they're asking me to, you know, can you can you play another song for us? Absolutely, uh, Bobby. I want to talk a little bit about um, this other song that we're going to play, which is the kid song. Tell us about it. Uh, this song is entitled "Don't Stop the Children." Um, basically, the song's title came to me in a dream one night, and what I didn't realize is that this song has bib biblical. Um, meaning, which I didn't really know about. And it's about um, the children today are the future of our tomorrow. And while the baby boomers, me included, are running this world, we have to save a part of the world for them for tomorrow. Environment, um, not to get political, but also setting example, <coughs> how to behave, how to act, how to respect. So this song is all about the children. Can I say something, Bobby? Sure. This song is a teaching tool. It is. It is. And I have, you know, I go and I lecture to the schools about the Holocaust. That's sure, sure, part sure. of my thing that I do. And I have used the words in your song Thank as you. part of my lecture series. Thank you. Because what the children have to learn is a lot about what's on this song. Wow. So I, that's I, what that's a writer writes to correct the wrongs in life. It's absolutely amazing. Thank Are you. you ready, Taz? Absolutely. Go for it. So this called this is called Don't Stop. Don't Stop the Show. Yeah. See my world. Tears in the rain 
Inspirational is that? Whew. That is just wow. You know, I've heard that song many times, and yet every time you play it, Taz, it's like the first time. It's like the first time. That's how terrific. Wow, that is. Taz. I am just just floored by Fantastic. it. Fantastic. I think the message that the children of today are our future, especially with what's going on in this world, not just here in the United States. I know everywhere. I just came back from China, and I'm leaving for. Africa next week and wow. one of the things that I I do is try to help the kids wherever I am because they are the future it's not the people we have that are out there today Taz it has been an amazing amazing pleasure Bobby thank you for bringing this guy to me thank you for having us it is it has just been wonderful I wish we had a little more time and you could play another song for us but unfortunately we're running out of time no worries at all so uh, to my audience I have to say this has been one of the best shows I have ever, ever had because I think the message that both Bobby and Taz are giving you is to make sure that you do more for others than you do for yourself. I wish you all well. I'll see you when I get back from Africa in about a month from now. Wow. That's if I come back with all my limbs intact, but I hope so. <laughs> Aloha from Seymour's World. Give this guy a massage. Ah, yeah. ah, I love it. I love it. Ah.